all right hey everyone and welcome back to my channel it's me miss mo um so just a disclaimer i'm recording right next to my window and as you all know i live close to a busy street so you might hear some outside noises um i quickly wanted to make this video because i had an epiphany um this morning and the thing that happened was that um I'm trying to become comfortable in my voice. Um, and part of that that idea of becoming comfortable in my voice is um, celebrating my accomplishments, but also um, sharing things that I have going on with other people. Now, I will say that, um, yeah, I'll just stop it there so so sharing things that i that i have going on with other people such as like family and friends and stuff like that um and i realize that the reason why i kind of hold back from doing that um is because i don't want them to discourage me and then i thought of something because when i said because you can hear people say stuff like um, well, you know, they're not very supportive, um, so I don't want to tell them anything. And that's a narrative that I would say to myself. Well, I don't want to tell my family this because they're not very supportive. Or I don't want to tell my friends or my partner this because they're not very supportive. Um, but what does their support have to do with what God, with, with what God has placed in your heart. And like, this, this is, y'all, this is me talking to myself. You know, this is me talking to myself. And I'm like, dang. Because I will, because the thing, the actual thing that I said to myself was, their support didn't stop you from their lack of support didn't stop you from doing what you wanted to do. You just didn't believe enough in yourself and what God has placed on your heart and on your mind to just go through with it. And when I said something like that to myself, I was just like, like, just like this, just fuck. <laughs> because this is a narrative that I've been telling myself for years. They're not supportive, so I'm not going to tell them anything. And it's like, so you're not going to share your growth with the people that you love and you care about. You're just going to keep that to yourself um, and then just surprise them with it. Or you're not going to share... Um, you're not going to share like your challenges. You're just going to get through it all by yourself and then just, you know, surprise them with the with this grandiose story of how you overcame something. Um, it's just like, so you're just going to keep it all to yourself because you may not like their support, but in the grand scheme of things, why does their support even fucking matter? If this is what you are supposed to do, if this is what's on your heart, if this showcases your skill set, your gifts, your experiences, because we are all unique individuals and every each of us have our own path that provides a light to someone before us or even someone... Um, behind us so like everyone is unique in that they have their own lived experiences and so but you're just going to keep that to yourself um you're going to keep your accomplishments you're going to keep your challenges all to yourself because you didn't have that support that support don't got nothing to do with where you need to go now mind you it is great to have support and it definitely does provide you with that encouragement to keep going. But kind of going back to that video that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago um, about 
the um, I can't remember it, but it's uh, damn. What was I talking about? Oh, it's it was talking about like knowing your why. Um, when you don't have that support, when you don't have those cheerleaders, your why should be enough. Your why should be the thing that keeps you going. And again, this epiphany this morning was that my whys have not been strong enough. But I have been so quick to um, to blame other people for why I'm not acting. They don't got nothing to do with that. Again, yes, their support would be amazing. It would be great. Um, but it is not necessary in order for me to keep going and to keep doing what I feel like I need to be doing. Um, or what God has placed in my heart or in my mind. And so I just wanted to make this video um, to first call myself out and say like, and for other people who may think like me, uh, it's not their fault. Their their lack of support is not why you're not doing what you need to be doing. You're not doing what you need to be doing because you, you don't, this was another epiphany, because you don't believe in yourself enough. You don't believe in your why enough. So you use that lack of support as fuel to say well i don't need to be doing it anyway or i'm not going to succeed anyway and it's like me talking to myself <laughs> how many opportunities have you sabotaged for yourself all because you didn't have the support that you wanted um like how many things have you self-sabotaged and so I'm making this video to say you don't need their support. You need to know your why. Because again, going back to that video of knowing your why, when you know your why, even when you don't feel like doing it, you're going to do it. Even when you don't have that support system there, you're going to do it. Because you know your why. You you know that thing. It's like kind of like a carrot in front of your, your face. Maybe that's not a good analogy. But you just know. You know to go. And you're going to keep going towards it. It don't matter if people are making fun of you. If It don't matter if people are not supporting you. Um, it doesn't matter if you just are having one of those type of days and you just don't feel like doing it. You know your why. So when you know your why, you're still going to get up and make some type of effort. And so, <clears throat> yeah, I just had that realization this morning. I was like, it's not their lack of support. That's not why I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it because I don't believe in myself enough. And I don't believe in my why enough. So I need to sit down with myself and believe in my why. And write down why I should be doing this. Why I need to be doing this. What God, understanding what God has placed within me. So overall, understanding who I am and why I am doing this particular task. Or why I am saying these particular things. I need to... You, I just feel like you just need to know know your why. Like, why me? Why now? Um, and why this thing? And so, yeah. Just want to make this quick video. Um, and call myself out again. And call out other people who might be thinking like me. And I'm just looking at my life right now. And I'm just, I'm really trying to change it in a way so that I am more satisfied and more present. I um, 
yeah more satisfied and more present and in order for me to do that I need to look at what like again going back to that coaching thing I need to look at my train of thought and a lot of my train of thought has been to, for me a lot of my train of thought has been for has been focused on blaming other people and not being more accountable for my actions so again going back to the whole purpose of this video i didn't not do anything because my family wasn't supportive i didn't do it because i didn't believe in myself enough and i didn't know what my why was um and having that understanding just brings so much clarity for me um and in this new stage of my life um because now I understand how important it is to believe in myself and believe in my why. Why me? Why this? Why now? And so, yeah. Okay. So now I'm really done. But thank you all for watching my video. Um, thank you all for supporting me so far. In that video where I did talk about knowing your why, I did want to show my appreciation to... Um, supporters um not supporters subscribers i mean y'all need to support my channel but y'all know what i mean um but i don't know how to like i can see who has subscribed to my channel but i don't know how to contact them so again if you've been a long time subscriber um been fucking with me since lipstick affair um and I can see it again because I can see who's who has subscribed. Um, please reach out to me. I would love to give you um, a free sample of my lipstick removal kit. Um, and it comes in this beauty bag, which I made. It's handmade. So don't look too closely at the stitches. Okay. Um, but it's a handmade beauty bag. Um, and you have, it comes with your lip oil. Um, it comes with a lip scrubber, which is great. I use this, um, basically every morning cause you gotta, you gotta scrub off that dead skin. Like you need your lips looking cute. Okay. Um, you have some, um, some Q-tips, which is great for helping to remove the, the lipstick. Um, you just put the lip oil on the um, on the Q-tip and just start that cleansing process of removing the lipstick. Um, you have your makeup round, and this is just kind of like, in a way, like let's say that you put the lip oil on the Q-tip. That's step one. Step two is using your uh, makeup round to just wipe off any excess things. Um, so that comes in the beauty bag. You have your makeup round cleanser, which it comes in this container. Um, and you have, what is this? The lip moisturizer. Yes, nothing is labeled just yet, but when you do receive it, it will be labeled. But, so I just want to show you all like just a sample of the product itself. Um, so this is the lip moisturizer. Um, and these are just like mini lip moisturizers. I keep one in my wallet. I keep one um, in the bathroom. I keep one in the kitchen. Like it's, it's small enough so that small and handy. So I think that's all the goodies that's in here. Um, but yeah, but this is the lipstick removal kit. And it, again, it comes with a beauty bag. Um, it's expandable. I wanted to make it like this. Um, so that it's easier for people who have long nails to just get in that bitch and take out what they need. Um, and I would like to say that one great thing about this lipstick removal kit is that, of course, vegan friendly. Um, and it's multifunctional, you guys. Um, yes, it's multifunctional. So each of these products... The lip oil can be put in your hair. It can be used as lotion. The lip moisturizer, 
same thing. <laughs> okay. The cleanser can be used as soap. Okay. Like body soap. This is a multifunctional, because I like multifunctional things. This is a multifunctional beauty bag. Um, so, yeah. So when you on the go, when you traveling, and you like, shit, I forgot this, I forgot that. Look in that beauty bag. You got, it. you got everything to start off your cleansing process. Okay? Okay. And so... <laughs> But yes, yeah, so if you have been a long time subscriber, I would love to give you a free um, sample of, again, the beauty bag. And again, this is just a sample. I'm um, a sample beauty bag. Um, the beauty bags are not going to always look like this, this pattern. There's going to be different um, Ankara print patterns. So... For the most part, everyone will have like a unique beauty bag. So again, if you have been a long time subscriber or if you comment on the video, um, the video where I posted this, this giveaway, which I think it's like two or three videos ago. I think it's that know your why video. Um, if you comment on that video as well as the last two videos that I posted. Basically, anywhere that you see, comment on this video and you can get a free sample of this beauty bag. Um, and if you've been a long time subscriber, um, or subscriber, um, you can definitely get a, a free sample of the beauty bag. I'm only giving out 20, so, um, you know, definitely make sure you reach out. And you can reach out to me at mozoloveinc at gmail.com. My email is at the, the bottom of the description box. Um, but yeah, but that is all for me, y'all. Thank you so much. I know this video is like a mix of two things, but that first part, y'all, when I realized that, like, they not stopping me, I'm stopping me, I'm like, bruh. What have I been doing? Gosh. Mm -mm -mm. So, yeah. <laughs> but don't stop yourself. Like, don't, don't stop yourself. The, the, you don't need the support. You have you, you have God, and you have the vision that God has put in your mind, in your heart. Um, and yeah. You don't need the support. It's great, but you don't need it. And I did just want to quickly add that. I do agree with people that's like, I don't like a lot of people in my business. I do agree with that mindset. But um, if you don't like a lot of people in your business because you're not getting the support you need, then that's where this video kind of like plugs into. Of You don't need their support. Um, you really just need you. And the people that God is going to place within your circles, uh, within your circle to get the job done. Um, and you, again, you need to know your why. Why you? Um, why you? Why this idea? And why now? So again, thank you all. This time I'm for real. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay. All right. Thank you all. Bye.